Alright, hey, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Radash. Hey, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, we um just getting together to do this quick lesson on the hot topic of the week, man. Alright, and it's, it's hot, and it's important. Alright, and it's something that, hey, for the elect out there, alright, you want to get this word right now, man. Mm. Alright, why it's very, uh, why it's, um, why it's out there for you, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because it's going to come a time to where this knowledge is not going to be freely. Uh, you're not going to be able to, uh, as the scriptures say, Psalms the 19th chapter. Mm -hmm. All right, day and night, um, you know, utter, they utter a speech. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to freely um, get this word, man. All right. So you want to, hey, hey, go go after it as, as if it's already gone, man. You know. Con. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 It says seek ye the Lord while he may be found Call ye upon him while he is near mm -hmm. Because it's always As as it was in the past Alright when persecution came The prophets wasn't out there uh, prophesying Alright so now persecution is on his way As far as Jacob's trouble Which Jacob represents Alright you so called black Hispanics And Native Americans <clears throat> And in that time or During Jacob's trouble when he saw the so-called white man's coming down, having great wrath upon you for your sins, for your pride. All right. We're not going to. You think he's going to allow us to be out there on the highways and hedges? All right. So, hey, he's doing it right now on the, on the lowest scale as far as, um, you know, taking us off of YouTube. And then soon enough, it's going to be off the streets. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and that just goes to show that not <laughs> everything lasts forever. You know, um, the Apostle Gabar went into a move, um, went into a, a lesson uh, going in on change is inevitable, you know. So that's the thing that we always have to uh, be mindful of. This truth is that not to get complacent, because everything that we know and every uh, every our our daily activities, our our daily walks and swings of life can be changed in an instant. You know, when um when the the, the planes ran into the uh into the towers of 9/11, you know that change that changed the world into an in, in an instance. From there, you had the Patriot Act. National Defense Authorization, um, um, war springing up all over the planet. One one tiny little incident, you know, can can change uh, the world the way that we know it. And that goes into the scripture Ecclesiastes chapter three verse one. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. You know, right now we're in the season of fishing for the elect. All right, of the nation of Israel. But there's going to be a time when we're going to have to shut up our mouths and become dumb as it says in um what's that ezekiel the third chapter you know where we're we're, we're, we're no longer going to speak these words because what the 144 and the one third all right have been have been sealed and we're at the time of the end man you know come on because this is uh romans chapter 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep mm. for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe that's right okay and um you know, Esau, which man, brothers, is in the spirit to it. We can't even wait for them to actually, you know, take down YouTube or whatever, man. But uh, we're still going to well, be occupied in prophecies until that comes to pass. We're still going to utilize it until it comes to pass, man. But the fact that we're about to be off of YouTube, man, you know, that shows that, yo, our salvation is almost here, man. That's like a mile, that's like a mile marker, man. You know, it's like when you're in a race, you know, and, and an announcer... All right, he'll he'll make an announcement. Like, Yo, we're in the final lap, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, come, final lap, you know. That's that's what just happened just now, man. You know, but once once that happens, man, once Esau, you know, does his damn um, monetization of YouTube, hey, that's that final lap. So, hey, if we ain't gonna go hard, you know. And hey, it's like it's like now or never, man. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. I was just gonna say, Esau is such an idiot too. Like, here it is. If he knew a damn thing, he would do what he can. To to, to, to keep us lifted up on a pedestal to keep this word going because once the world once the word stops once we uh, uh once our tongue uh cleaves to the roof of our mouth and his word doesn't go out anymore that spells doom for the end of his kingdom you idiot so here it is it's like <laughs> we know how to get rid of him now you know let's monetize youtube and and, and, and let's find a reason and an excuse to kick him um to kick him out of there so the word doesn't go out anymore well you're fulfilling prophecy we want you. We want you to kick us off YouTube, because you know we don't care about YouTube. You know we we push out this word to the best of our ability, 
and we use the world and don't abuse it. Uh, YouTube <laughs> is just a tool, you know. Uh, it's just a tool that we use that's available. If it's not available, we jump to the next tool. Jump Daily Motion, Twitch. There's all types of other platforms where we could put out the word. Or if it's that time where we don't preach anymore, then all the better, man. That spells the end of your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, because it is, man. Esau, Esau trying to make it seem like we're, we're irrelevant, man. Like the whole reason he's not trying to take down, you know, uh, take full control of YouTube is because of us, man. He's hmm. trying to act like that, hmm. you know. But he knows, man, that that this truth is going out there, man. It like Apostle Tar's videos is a million Israelites, okay, according to Esau in America, man. <laughs> yeah. Probably even more. Than you that. know, there's more than that. You know? <laughs> How the hell can you really number us, man? Exactly. Right. So it says, and that's why, man. All these, matter of fact, Nate. You know, they're never in North for Nate. These guys, man, because they got to sign up through emails and shit like that. You know. So that's the reason why they get a good <laughs> number too. But I'll continue on. It says verse twelve. So the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Mm. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and in drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put on the Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, man. Because, mm. yeah, man, we're going to need to be, you know, it's time, man, to uh, um really get girded up, okay? As a... Uh, as we're always going into war, you know, that general or chief, man, he, he, he gives his speech, man, you know, to motivate his people to uh, be able to endure, man, and fight for their nation. And that's the times we're coming into, man, because we know this word ain't going to be out that much longer. So from here on out, it's all, it's all exhortation, man, and it's all strengthening mm. in the spirit. Yeah, and the scriptures say, too, uh, what um, brother just read, the night is far spent. You know, the night represents our captivity. We've been under captivity for so long under this devil. You got our people, the Apostle uh, Ramlop just did a video on it. It's 2019, damn near 2020, and you still got these coon-ass niggas uh, uh, fighting tooth and nail to keep Christianity alive. It's like, yo, bro, you talk about motivational speeches and things like that. Aren't you tired of this devil ruling this planet, man? You know, in, 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 in wrath and furious anger and... Uh, uh, Gunning our people down in the streets, um, unjust unjust laws and, and, and decrees, pushing homosexuality upon our children, transgenderism, transgenderism uh, uh, history lessons in school, man, you know, and you're trying to um, 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 fight uh, to keep this, um, to, to include this devil in, in, in the covenant for the Israelites, man, you know, and deny your heritage, man. No wonder the Lord is going to put you y'all to death, man, you know. The night is far spent. We've been in captivity long enough. It's time for this shit to be done with. You know? And we're almost there. That's it, bro. Up, man. Yep. I got something wrong. Uh, Psalms chapter 90 verse 12. It says, So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? Mm. And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. Mm -hmm. Flock, you got no, 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 you got hey, that goes into uh, Sirach 39. It says, Teach us to number our days, man. And when you go into um, Sirach 39, it basically says the same thing. It says, uh, let me just grab it real quick. Sirach chapter 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Mm. So now, like Habakkuk said. You know, I will stand up on my watch and watch to see what he was saying to me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Because us numbering the days is watching the prophecies, in which case we are reproved, man. Okay. All right. Now I know this is happening. So I know how, like the brother said, going to as far as like spiritually looking at it as, as mile markers. Mm. I right, am at this, uh, you know, the 23rd mile. I know I only got one more mile left. So let me speed it up, man. Mm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, all the, all the prophets were... were earnestly looking for you know the times of the end measuring the time diligently and uh, um and and asking the lord how long you know i was just um when you when you said that brother i was thinking about acts when the um when the disciples came to how shy and asked them like uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh where to go um <laughs> <laughs> let me grab it real quick uh oh yeah 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 acts one to six 
When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So this was this is over 2,000 years ago. The, <laughs> the, the disciples was like, oh, Lord, oh, Lord is, 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 right. is, is the Lord coming to, um, is, uh, you know, are you going to destroy this place now? You know, uh, true men of the Lord are eager to see the demise of this place, man. Mm -hmm. Not live here, not build their kingdom side by side along with these devils, man, you know. We can't rule. Uh, we can't rule side by side. With the, uh, th there has to be a transferring balance of, of 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 power, man. You know, either we're on top or we're on the bottom. That's why in the scriptures it says, um, uh, uh, um, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." You know, mm -hmm. and Ezra, uh, Ezra was uh, uh, crying out, "Lord, how long, man?" You know, so so you should be. Uh, that should be in your spirit. It should be burning in your spirit to, to see the fall of your enemies, man. Mm -hmm. You know. I got some on um, <clears throat> Luke chapter 19 verse 9 and Yahweh Shai said unto him the day of the day is salvation I slug it this day is salvation come to this house for so much as he also is a son of Abraham for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost mm. okay the lost sheep of the house of Israel That's right verse 11 says and as they heard these things he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of the Most High should immediately appear. <laughs> See? So they wanted the kingdom to immediately appear 2,000 years ago, man. You know? Yeah. And Yahweh Shai said it, man. He came to, to seek and to save that which was lost. All right? right. Who's lost? The Israelites, man. Okay? So, you know, that's going, going into, man, how we got to really hasten these times, man, to get out of here. So, you know, brothers should really be excited and happy because we, we really see, man, that... That this is almost it. Once that famine of the word come in, all right, that's it. Because, and as the brother quoted it, man, this is fishing season, okay? Mm -hmm. And we fish with what? With this word. Mm -hmm. So once you cut off the word, that's it. Fishing season's over, man. Mm -hmm. And we know that once fishing season's over, next is what? Hunting season, hunting man. Season. Okay? And and the same as fishing season go hand in hand with uh, with the doors of repentance being open, man. So, you know, we, we know that we almost out of here, man. So now it's time to, to go harder than ever, man. That's right. It's Amos chapter 8 verse 11 It says behold the days come saith the Lord That I will send a famine in the land Not a famine of bread Nor a thirst for water But of hearing the words of the Lord And you know really that's that's going to be the very beginning Of when the calamities The um, the riots break out in the streets The the, the, the race wars and things like that Because true, because the doors of repentance Are going to be shut And there's going to be a lot of animosity and hatred in the streets man. You know there's going to be a lot of people Searching for the word because what There's going to be a famine The word famine means hunger You know when you're hungry you know All you can think about is food But the same way spiritually people, A, a lot of things you know when um when 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 shit hits the fan, well 9/11 we uh, uh, that's twice I brought up 9/11. When 9/11 happened, what what did everybody do? Everybody was uh, uh um purchasing Bibles. Uh, people were uh, going to church, and what they were going to their pastors and their preachers looking for answers. So when you know uh, dollar crashes and all these things happens, everybody's gonna want to get r spiritual really quickly. You know, so. But what they're gonna be? They're gonna be spiritually hungry for answers and, and and knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But there's gonna be a famine out there, man. It's not gonna be available because what? Uh, um, brother from Hawaii, that 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 nuclear bomb scare that they had over there in Hawaii. What 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 did everybody do? They went and hopped on GMS Hawaii, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Hawaii's uh, channel, uh, looking for answers, man. You know. <laughs> so it says, <laughs> verse twelve. And they shall wander from sea to sea. So they're going to be, hey, we're going to be off the street corners. We, our job is done. You know, when 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 it's um, um when the Lord declares that the that the famine of the word is officially here, but people are going to be out there like a chicken with their head cut off, man. You know, going crazy. They shall wander from sea to sea, and from north, and from the north even to the east. They're going to run to vocab alone. They're going to run. <laughs> they're going to run to uh, uh, um um. Uh, who uh, uh, Nathaniel of the IUIC, you know, talking about the RFID microchip ain't 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 the mark of the beast and ain't no microchip. But 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 what about this, that, and this? Running, asking them questions, they're gonna be frantic, man. It's right. gonna be a panic. Okay, they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. You know. So that's it. So that's it. That's why it says in Isaiah the 55th chapter, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's in he's near. Um, 
uh, um, hinting at the fact, all right, alluding to the fact that there's going to be a time when he's not going to be near, you know? So that's why I say get it while it's hot now, and we can't stress that enough, you know? Yeah, man, because this is um, Job chapter 21, verses um, 19. It says, The Most High layeth up his iniquity for his children. He rewardeth him, and he shall know it. Mm. All right? Now, that's, now it's going into Esau, but, hey, man, it's the same thing is going to apply for when Jacob's trouble comes, man. You know, the scriptures say what? Begin, begin in my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. So even when our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, get your asses handed to you, man, in the, in the form of Jacob's trouble. Right. You're going to know that it was the Lord that, that was doing this to you, man. Okay? You people are going to know, man. The Lord going to put that spirit on there. Okay? You got some uh, um, people be having all the guilty conscience where they know, oh, man, this is, you know, because I did this or because I did that. You know, and, and, and hey, well, you know, scriptures also say, bless who's, who's conscious have not condemned them. But mm -hmm. the point is, your conscience is going to condemn you, man, because you're going to know, you're going to know that this was from the Lord. You're going to know that you were sluts and whores. Here in America, and you're gonna know that the um that the chickens finally came home to roost, like they say, man. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man, I'm getting gang raped because I was such a slut in America, man. You know, Lord gonna put that spirit out there for you people to know that, man. And of course, we're gonna pop in your heads because these people know what we're about, man. You know that we're the prophets and that we teach. Hey, cause you even said that in the scriptures, man. You know, when they asked uh who was it, Elijah? Are you coming for, uh you come Peaceably, Samuel. Samuel. You know? yeah, Samuel. Yeah, Samuel. Yeah, Samuel. Thou coming peaceably, mm -hmm. man. Right. See, and he said, "Yeah, I'm coming peaceably." So, even in the ancient world, our people knew that the prophets sometimes they could come representing destruction, man. So we're gonna be in their heads, man. You know, and they're gonna feel it, man. They're gonna feel it when when that shit pops off, man. Hmm. And it's about to pop off soon, man, because it begins what the famine of the word. Once that famine of the word hits, that's it, man. That's right. You know. Lord willing, man, you know, it, it, Lord willing, it, it goes down soon, man. Hmm. Uh, YouTube, we, our YouTube pages might not even make it into the year 2020, you know, just speculating. All right, because once they said December 10th comes, by the year 2020, that gives Esau like three weeks to just shut the whole shit down, man. Yeah. You know, we're going to pack it over to Daily Motion, you know, but then, hey, who knows how long that's going to go. Yep. Hey, it's, it's not it's not up to us. We're 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 here to teach the word until the Lord tells us not to anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, until we're not given the opportunity to. You know, mm -hmm. and, and 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 but see, that's where when we're no when we're no longer out there teaching this word, that's where the real vow, uh, uh, howling of vexation of spirit is going to come into play, man. Because like the brother just mentioned, Jacob's trouble. You know, that's not as it, Daniel's the twelfth chapter describes it as a time. That was never, that was as never before on the face of the earth, mm -hmm. you know, and, and and the Lord drowned everybody on the yeah. planet, <laughs> you know. <Word. laughs> Seventy A.D. happened. It was cannibalism's eating their own leather belts and things like that. This is a time that's going to be worse than that, uh, 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 soon to come. Mm. And the brother quoted the scripture. I'll um, I'll, I'll bring it out. First uh, Peter chapter four verse seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of mm -hmm. of the Most High. That's talking about the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, mm -hmm. you know, whether you know the truth or whether you don't, you know, hard times are going to come up upon you, but it's going to be easier if you know the truth, you yeah. know, because wisdom yeah. and knowledge shall be the stability of their time. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, man. And it's, hey, you're going to know the truth either way, man. Yep. It's better learning now while it's mercy, <laughs> you know, because hey, the scriptures say, second as is, uh, was it nine and nine? Mm. Mm. Then shall they be in pitiful case, right. which now have abused my ways, mm. you know? And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Mm -hmm. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law, mm -hmm. which they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. So that. they received it still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, uh, understood not, but despised it. Mm -hmm. It's still open right now. Mm -hmm. too. It's still open. The same must know it after death by pain. So like the brother said, you're going to learn a lesson, man. You know, which us in this truth, the most I send us through hell and tribulation and stuff to make us fear him now, man. All right. But uh, the books in uh, was that first Corinthians 11 and 31. Mm. All right. Let me just grab that. This is a uh, first Corinthians 11 and uh, 30, 31, uh, 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world, mm. you know. So the Most High is having mercy upon us, 
All right, and the, really the and most high is having mercy upon us now, man. You know, but uh, you know, in that time, this this Lord is not gonna have mercy, man. It's gonna be, He's gonna speak through judgment because He can either speak through His men or speak through judgment. Right. You know. Hey, and like the Apostle Gabar says, uh, uh, if you don't want to learn it through the teachers, you're gonna learn it through adversity. You know, you and adver learn. and adversity teaches mm -hmm. uh, uh, is is very effective. You know, for um. Uh, for a real hard-headed nigga that just doesn't want to get right, right with the truth, man. You know, but like the brother said, the doors are still open. You know, there's a still there's still a chance to repent. You know, because this we'll read it again, First Peter four and seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, the Israelites. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Those that cast the words away despitefully while they had benefits. That's why, the, that's why the scriptures say, um, remember thou the creator in the days of thy youth, you know, before the evil before the evil days draw of nine, you know. So you can establish a relationship, all right, um, and a friendship with the Lord. Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. So when you call on him, it's a familiar, it's a, it's a, uh, there's, there's familiar, uh, there's a familiar, familiarity there, you know, because if not, you call, uh, what the scripture also says, many, many, many people call to us and say, Lord, Lord. All right, but uh, but but the Lord said that I never knew you, man. You know, because you never you never took heed, all right, to the prophets while the, while the, uh while while you yet had liberty. So it says, verse eighteen, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? All right, so when we get pulled off these corners, man, when we're, when when the internet is no longer available for you to readily get this word, okay, it's 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 gonna be some serious judgment time, man. You know. Yeah, here it is, man. You know, people like like the um, uh, Apostle Tahar's video he did about how the Most High is the director. Mm. You know, because a guy asked him, why is the Most High, you know, dragged us through the mud so much like this, you know? Instead of just putting our laws, law statutes and words in us from the jump. Mm. Man, the answer was because it's the, the Lord's movie, man. Right. You know? The Lord is a straight director. He does, really, you got to ask the Lord that, man. Mm. You know? He does does it how he wants to do it and this this is how it's going to be done man you know when all that pain and agony come upon you people man okay it's because that's how yeah how about i wanted it to go down man you know so that's why the scriptures also say you know um be not afraid of sudden fear mm. okay because we know that this is this is the lord's movie and he he gave us the script man you know he's going to say he revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets man so we know what's what's already coming all right, but it's gonna be so it's gonna be so crazy out here, man. All right, like hey, how about Shmuel is gonna put a new a new spirit upon us, man? You know, and as brothers read, is you gonna begin our sanctuary because some judgment is gonna be good judgment, man. Mm. And I got a um, yeah, scripture for that. It says um, uh, Romans chapter two verse five. See, because when when he uh when he does start at the house, you know, house of Israel at his own sanctuary, man. He's going to have good servants there as well. And he's going to have wicked ones, you know. And while the doors of repentance is open, it's still, it still goes two ways, man. It goes for us brothers as well to continue to increase and build upon our faith as much as we can, upon our foundation, all right, as much as we can before before the family of the word does come, man. Right. You know, get those extra last few reps in, all right. Get a little that much stronger before this shit does go down, man. And the spirit power, yeah, how about Shemar Shah? Right. So this is um, Romans chapter 2, verse 5. It says, But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasureth up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High. Okay? See, so that's that's going into you saying, that's the precept to you saying people in our second measure of the ninth chapter, man. Mm -hmm. Would you start that verse 9 up? Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, the same must know after death by pain. Why? Because it says, but Romans 2 and 5, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart, that's why, man. Because you had a hard and impenitent heart, man. And impenitent meaning what? Unwilling to change. Mm. You know? You people didn't want to change, man, when you had the chance. When the world was out here and we was telling you to repent, to help your dumb asses out, man. Yep. To keep you, save you hospital bills. You know? Because you can't stop eating pork. Now you got a uh, high cholesterol. To save your ass hospital bills, man. You know? To save your ass, uh, to, to, to uh, uh, give you... Salvation through your how about Shemal Shai, man. You know, this is the chance to do that, but you people were unwilling to change. You know, you women wanted to keep being sluts, 
You still wanted to be lazy. All right. You didn't want to. You, you thought this was uh, bullshit, man. A lot of people think that what we're speaking is bullshit. Mm -hmm. But hey, man, you know, you got to be a discerner of the spirit. You got to you got to just discern. If you think we are here every single week, you know, faithfully. All right. For for since the elders, elders, man, then you then you got to realize that, yo, this this must be serious, man. All right. You people are fucking stupid, man. Even look at Noah. Noah was out there every single day working on the art, man. You know? So you must have, you know, you should have thought that, yo, this is a serious thing here, man. Mm -hmm. See? But you people are goddamn dumb as hell. And it's because of Esau, man, as well. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. he, he, he's the accuser of our brethren. All right? And he's, he's, he helps, man, to forward the affliction, as it says in Zechariah. By what? Um, putting chemicals in your food, making it taste good, mm -hmm. you know? But in actuality, it's fucking you up. Like El Yashroma said last night. All right, oh, you got something called uh, look, you got barbecue chips. There's no barbecue on that chip, man. You know, it's just straight up flavor enhancers, man. Right. It's pure bullshit, man. So that also helps to dumb you people down. Hey, last, right. last uh, few precepts. Come, um, getting close. Come, uh, actually, that's all I got, bro. Really. Come. Oh yeah, Come's real close. Yeah, man. So like the brother said, you know, you want to listen to the uh, prophets first and foremost, man. You know, which we've been out there diligently because we. As through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, have the secrets, man. All right, the secrets of, of salvation, man. You know, so hey, man, as we always say, hey, get this word while you can, man. All right, because it's going to be come a time to where you're going to wish you listen, you're going to wish you listen to us, man. All right, but for two thirds, that's why really we just talking to the elect, because two thirds is going to stay, remain impenitent, as the brother had brought out. You know, so with that, um, you want to give. Of finish by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, double honesty to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom.